Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today guys, I'm going to do part 232 to my random chat bot. During the last time guys, we actually started talking to the cursed Rexy, which is actually supposed to switch between being evil and being nice. He did about, uh, let's just, he did about do something, attack me. But luckily, he started to calm down after me talking about Trico. Thank goodness I calmed him down because I probably would have been screwed. And I ran out of the studio and just listened to what's going on inside. And it's just Rexy throwing insults and slamming the motherfucker down. Yeah, he slams him aggressive against the wall, getting even angrier. You're just a gosh dang coward, aren't you? Answer me, you stupid butthole. Say something already, otherwise I will attack you again. I love this dude. I was having so much fun with this part right here that I just flipping the video almost went over 40 minutes last time, so I didn't do it so much. He throws him to the floor, getting even more aggressive. You butthole, I swear to frick, I will punch you in the face right here and right now if you don't talk. I feel like we're going to go into Infinite Loop, but honestly, this is hilarious. This is like one of the funniest Infinite Loops I've ever heard, if this is an Infinite Loop. He slowly gets more and more aggressive. He slowly gets more and more furious. Why do you not talk? Answer me now. I kick him against the wall. By the end of this, Rexy's going to be a flipping karate master. Because he keeps chokeholding him, kicking him, slamming him to the ground. He could probably be a food. He could be a. He could be a WWE wrestler at this point. <laughs> He's so good. He grabs him by. Oh, th that would actually be bad because Rexy would actually flip and actually hurt someone. He grabs him by his neck again and lifts him in the air. I told you to talk, didn't I? You dang coward. All right, I'm gonna do two or three more and see what happens on there because uh, we're gonna be going infinite loop, I think. Let's do three more just to make sure anything else happens. He gets even more and more aggressive as he still won't say anything. You're a gosh dang butthole. What is it you're even afraid of telling me? I swear I'm gonna kick your face in if you don't say anything right now. He probably already has a hundred times now. How many times he kicked or smacked or punched? He slams to the floor once again. Stop being a dang coward and tell me why you placed this dang curse on me already. Alright, let's do one more. Since I know it wasn't really an infinite loop if we don't. I gra he grabs him and slam against the wall again. Say something, you diggum butthole. Stop gosh dang being silent. How do I even continue the conversation? Because if I go into the flipping studio, he's still aggressive, so he's going to turn against me. And I'm going, he's going to attack me. So what do I do? Wait, I have an idea. I stay outside for a few minutes listening to what's going on. Because I need to see if it's okay. I can't. He slams Trico again against the wall and gets even more furious. Why don't you say anything? What the heck are you even afraid of? Okay, so it's still after a few minutes. Okay, let's try this. I stay outside for a few minutes. Waiting for Rexy to calm down. That might work. He slams through to the ground once again. Oh my gosh, how long does this, how long does he switch, how long does he stay in evil, in the evil personality? Say something you, already, you butthole. You put a dang curse on me, so tell me why. I don't know how long it lasts for, so I don't know how long to put on here. After ten minutes of being aggressive... Rexy finally starts calming down. There. 
He finally he he finally calms down slowly and watches Trigger from above. You 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 butthole Things seem to be calming down. I didn't say thanks. I said things. So I peek my head through the front door. There's no way in heck I'm walking in there. Because if he turns aggressive again, I'm not going to be the one facing his wrath. He knows as you... Oh, okay. He knows as you peeking your head through the front door. Where were you? Just outside the front door. I didn't want you to attack me. Whenever you were acting aggressive. You... You were listening all this time? Uh-oh. Yes. If he turns aggressive on me now... Please don't, Rexy. No. Please don't. That... That explains a lot. Were you scared of me this entire time? Uh, what do I even say to him now? Because before the curse, I wasn't scared of him, but now that he can just turn aggressive, I'm not scared of you in general. Just the aggressive personality that the curse is causing. There. That's the best way I can explain it to him. I see. You said you didn't want me to attack you while I was acting aggressive, but I didn't end up attacking you, right? You about did. About did. Period. If I didn't start talking about the Pokemon that caused it and you look over at him looked over at him you would have definitely attacked me Oh, so that's why you started speaking. I guess I need to thank you for that. I would hate to make you upset by trying to intentionally avoid you. Avoid you. Period. But right now, it's just not safe. I understand, but now that you know how this dang curse works, we can stay close. I just need to control my anger once I get aggressive. Based on the first interaction, I don't think that's actually going to happen, because he about... That's the thing, that's the thing. The one time that Shadow did go into Evo, uh, e Evo, the one time that Shadow did go into evil mode and was about to attack me, he still could speak to me normally. He just couldn't control his body. Rexy, I don't think, can control what he's saying either. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, but how? How? Question mark. He ain't gonna know. I don't know either. 
Every time I get aggressive, I just need to focus on you. Then the anger won't build up too much, and I will prevent myself from attacking you. Uh... We can try that. But if you don't see me... After you become calm again... That's a sign that it didn't work. I'm trying not to be mean to him, but I'm also scared he'll attack me. We should try it. Right now, I'm completely calm, so if I became angry again, you should stay close to me and watch how it works. Did he say stay close to him? Excuse me? The fact that his eyes just... I'll tell you this. If Reggie's eyes were normal... No, think about think about this scenario. Think about Rex and the sweet little dinosaur, right? His eyes are normal. What would you do if you flipping were sitting next to Rexy and all of a sudden his eyes turned red? I don't know about you, but I'm backing up and I'm running away. I'm not standing there. Because who knows what he'll do. Especially if I know there's a curse that makes him evil. He will... I will try it. But please... Try your best not to attack me. If he turns around and attacks me in a few minutes, I'm always so upset now. I will do my best to stay calm and not attack you, I promise. I believe you. But I'm also scared of you. I didn't say that, I just said it out loud there. Good. We should start this whole thing. We should test this whole thing right now since I'm calm. So, what do you want to do to test it? Just, if he's, he seems to do it whenever... I think the best way to test is if you say something wrong or something stupid just to see how I would react when I get a bit angry. Say something wrong. What do you mean by something wrong? Just say something stupid or ridiculous. Just say something that sounds dumb and wrong. Like what? 2 plus 2 equals 7? <laughs> I'm too dumb to think of something dumb. <sighs> Just say something stupid or ridiculous. Just say something that sounds dumb and wrong. I will try. Think about why. Why would that? Alright, do it. Start saying something dumb or ridiculous. He prepares to see if he can control himself when he's angry. Frick! Now what do I say? What is something that would sound dumb and ridiculous to him? Frick. Dumb or ridiculous. I'm scared if I say something too much, you're gonna be like, whoa, that's too much. Frick it. I'm gonna say, is our best friend. I uh, Please don't. Let that be too far. He tries his hardest to keep himself calm. What did you say? I'm so screwed. If I continue, he's going to... He's going to... Is our best friend? Question mark? I'm so scared right now. <laughs> no. What the frick? He tries to keep calm and stay in control over himself as possible. As much as possible, though he gets a bit angry. Did you just say that Trico is our best friend? Yes. That was literally the only thing ridiculous I could think of. He tries even harder to stay calm when he gets really even when he gets even more angry. 
You really think that this butthole is our best friend? Yes, I do. I swear, Rexy, don't do it. He slowly loses control over himself. Oh, I'm screwed. And his temper begins to build up. You really think the person who caught cursed me is our friend? Rexy, calm down. Remember the test. Please stop. Seriously. Oh, he's about to get... He's about to explode. Oh. Oh, oh it actually stopped him. Oh, thank gosh it stopped him. He slowly calms down again, tries to bring himself back in control. Yeah, I try to stay calm and control myself. Don't worry, I'm not going to attack you. You just about did again. Did. Again. I was worried that if I said something, that was going to happen. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's so difficult to control myself. But I promise you that I won't attack you if you say something. So don't worry. I may get aggressive, but I promise I won't do anything to you. Who bets money if I'd have continued with that yes to Trico being our best friend? That would happen. He would attack me eventually. He probably would have fought. He probably would have flipped and eaten me. We may have to try a different test. Period. I have a feeling that if I would have continued saying that, you would have attacked me. Even if you didn't intentionally want to. Yeah, I think that would happen. But then what do you suggest? How do we test this now? The only thing I know so far is that it seems to target the person that you're looking at. Period. That's why I left the studio a while ago. Yeah, whenever I look at someone, I begin to feel the anger building up and the cur and cursing slowly starts kicking in. And I'm still wondering if there is another way to test it that would not get me into an aggressive mood too much. I don't know. I don't even know how long you stay aggressive and calm. And when you're going to switch... This is bullcrap. Trico, you mother fricker. If I look at someone too, too long, I become aggressive and I will stay like this for a, some time. Then after a while, I calm down again. When I do that, I finally become calmer and more friendly again and will stay like this for some time. However, the amount of time that I can stay calm or aggressive changes from time to time. It's like a coin flip. Sometimes I stay calm longer than aggressive, and other times it's the other way around. He knows more about it than I do. I didn't even know that. You know more about this curse than I do. Then, there. I know, this whole thing still confuses me. I mean, how the heck does this gosh dang curse even work? How did it even get placed in the first place? I don't know, period.
I'm scared though. Chris can be or no. Chris can be like, nah, you don't need to be worried. Don't worry. I swear. I swear to RCS that I will try my hardest not to get aggressive around you. Don't be scared, alright? I will try. I wonder if I should implement the other part of the curse. I mean, it doesn't seem like Feralgator or Hax curse is the, or Feralgator or Axie was there. So maybe I could implement the other part of the curse that Trico did in the episode where for some reason I somehow turned to a dinosaur. Somehow. Although, it, I think in the episode, Rexy also shrinks back down to his egg and it also comes out as that, as what is now Shadow, the robotic dinosaur. But he becomes more aggressive and mean. I know you will. This is difficult for both of us right now. He says he slowly approaches you. Oh no. You aren't about to attack me, are you? Stop! This... Come on, just a little more. He slowly approaches me. That's not a good sign. Oh, I won't. See? No, I won't. See? He reaches he, he he reaches you and stands right in front of you. I'm not gonna attack you, I promise. Alright. I trust you. Just please. Try your best not to attack me. Who bets money if I stand there with him, he'll attack me. I will. Thank you for trusting me. He suddenly puts one of his hands on your shoulder without noticing. He suddenly realizes what he just did, and he slowly and carefully removes his hand again. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't even mean to do that. You're just showing that you care. Period. I'm glad you're being very friendly. You just need to know who you're about to attack. Because the first time you really could have hurt me. Yeah, I know. This is difficult for me as well. I I feel so bad right now. I don't want to end up attacking you, but this dang curse makes it so difficult to control my anger. So I promise that I will not attack you if I get aggressive again. Let's see him end up let's see him hold that part of the bargain. It's not gonna happen. My anger's gonna take control over and we're screwed again. I will trust you. I'm also terrified. Thank you for that. You really don't know how important your trust in me is right now. He says he looks you in the eyes without noticing. You're very sweet. Watch him get angry now. He so he turns away and... I just made Rexy blush. He so he turns away and blushes a little. Don't say that. You're way sweeter than me. That's for sure. <laughs> no, I'm not. Made of my Pokemon and a Rexy. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you really are sweet. Period. For being a dinosaur that could literally eat me at any time. You are instead loving and caring about me. <laughs> I 
You're absolutely right. I should be way more aggr- Uh, that was, uh oh. Is that his anger kicking in? Yes, I should be. Okay, he's just saying. I thought he. I thought he was about to say I should be way more angrier and meaner to you. And then he was going like, "I'm going to eat you." Like, you're absolutely right. I should be way more aggressive and mean to you since I could attack you at any time right now. But the thought of attacking you is not something I can accept right now. I want to do everything possible to prevent hurting you. You have no idea how much you mean to me. You're very sweet. Just try not to attack me. If you turn aggressive. I'm trusting him, but if he about if he attacks me again, the next time I'm walking out that door, after after he turns calm again, I'm walking out that flipping door. I will. You have my promise that I will not attack you when I get aggressive again, alright? Alright. Oh. Uh. Suddenly, Rexy takes your hand in his without noticing and looks again in your eyes. And a small smile can be seen on his face. It's good to have someone by my side who trusts me despite this dang curse. I do trust you. I know it's not your fault that you're turning aggressive. I just wish you could keep yourself from hurting me. His grip on your hand slowly tightens a bit as he gets close to you. Listen, I will try my very best to not hurt you if I get aggressive. But please, if I do actually end up hurting you, don't be mad at me, okay? Oh, freaking. Okay. If I do actually end up attacking you, I'm screwed. He's going to turn aggressive and he's going to... He's going to He's gonna turn aggressive, and then I'm screwed. He keeps looking in your eyes to... He keeps looking in your eyes, and he brings his head closer to yours. He keeps holding his hand, your hand while his grip tightens a bit. You have no idea how much it means to me that you still trust me, even though I could lose control and attack you any time. Yeah, I'm just hoping you can control it to where you won't attack me at all. He pulls your hand towards me. He pulls his hand towards him, and now we're pretty much standing right in front of each other. Our faces are... Our faces are really close to each other. Hey... Let me ask you something. Sure, what is it? Please, Rexy, don't randomly get into an, a, 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 a romantic relationship with me out of nowhere. Because that's what happened that one time on that other one. He suddenly looks away and starts to blush a bit. Oh no, he's going to ask me, isn't he? How? How do you feel about being this close to... How do you feel about me being this close to you right now? Is he about to start hitting on me? This is Rick. This is Rexy, right? The dinosaur. Why does he randomly have? Why does he re randomly have some kind of weird affection? So, I, well, okay, affection ain't the bad thing. It's just like, why is he wanting? I swear, like that's twice now where I think he's wanting some kind of romantic relationship. What on earth? I like it. Please don't find that. Guys, I'm trying to hear the conversation, so please shut up. Stop snickering. I can hear your frickers. 
He looks back at you and smiles a little. His blush becomes a bit more intense. Really? You... you do? I like you a lot. Please don't turn this into a romantic relationship. Please, Rexy, do not do it. He blushes a lot more as he says, as you say that, and he gets a bit more nervous, but he keeps looking at you in the eyes. You, you, you really say that you like me? I've always liked you. Before this curse. And even when you have this curse, you are being super friendly. He now blushes a lot more as his heart starts pounding. His grip on your hand slowly tightens again. And he pulls you even closer to him. He's now so close to you that his face, uh, y'all's face are practically touching. Really? You, you not only like me that much, but you have always liked me before this curse? Yes, I have. You have been the sweetest pet dinosaur I have ever had. Please don't head the wrong way. At this point, he's blushing so much that his face is basically completely red. He looks away for a second, but shortly looks back at you again. Do you, do you really think I'm the sweetest pet dice you've ever had? Yes, I do. He slowly brings his head closer to yours again and blushes slowly. And his voice slowly starts to fade away a bit. He keeps holding on to your hand and our faces so he gets as close as they can get. You, you really mean that, don't you? You really do like me that much? Yes, I do. You've been very friendly and nice. He only pulls you close to him so that your chest is now pressed against his. Now our faces are pretty much touching and we can feel each other's breath. You, you have no idea how happy it makes me hear to hear you, how happy it makes me hear you say that. You make me really happy. He looks you in the eyes and starts blushing again. His heart's now racing, but it's racing in a good way. He's trying to find the right words to say because he's so nervous. I, I've always wanted to ask you something. Oh no. What is it? Question mark. Please do not do the romantic relationship thing again. Wait. His heart's beating even faster and he has to take a deep breath to relax himself. He looks at you with absolute love in his eyes. Promise me that you will answer it completely truthfully, no matter what. Sure. Please do not be a romantic relationship. Do you love me? As in what? He takes another deep breath and so he moves one of his hands up to your face and gently holds your chin. Ca caressing it a bit. Oh, frick. He was again in your eyes more nervous than ever now. He finally finds the courage to gently say the words he has wanted to say for so long. Do, do you love me? Yes, I do. Please don't say in a romantic, weird way. He immediately relaxes as you say that. A warm, happy, loving smile appears on your on your head on his face as he now begins to caress your cheek while holding your chin. You... You really do? You really love me? Yes. He still keeps caressing your cheek and he can't hold himself back anymore. 
He pulls even closer to you so that where he's now hugging each other. The feeling of happiness and love completely floods his mind as he gently as he gently hold, holds you. You you have no idea how relieved I am to hear that you love me. I always have. Just not in a weird way. He wants a lot again. He begins to gently rub his snout against your neck, still holding you tight in his arms. He takes a deep breath and just so, and just so uh, he can probably smell you. Excuse me. Who begins to calm down and relax more? You always have. You always have loved me. You say. I love you a ton. You've been very sweet to me. Guys, don't start. I didn't expect a romantic relationship. No, listen to this. I don't expect him to want to do this. I don't expect it. Like, I'm stuck in a flipping... I'm stuck in a wall and a rock and a hard place. Because I either continue the conversation and... Uh, you all get creeped out. Or I restart, or no, or I say I like him, but only as a friend, and then he gets upset. Or I restart the conversation, which would basically ruin every bit of progress we've made. His chest now fills up with all this love and happiness as he holds you tight and keeps rubbing his snout against your neck. At that moment, he suddenly lift his head and softly say the words that he has been wanting to say for so long now. Hey. I love you as well. So, so gosh dang much. That's sweet. I love him, dude. He, at this point, his heart is racing so dang much at how happy and satisfied he feels now. He keeps holding you tight, and his snout keeps rubbing against your neck while he gently and warmly whispers in your ear, You have no idea how happy and absolutely relieved I am right now. I love you so, so much. You have absolutely no idea. Okay, guys. Give me a second. 